for the last race was insane. That's the forecast for the race. Uh, and for qualifying. I know for a fact that that's 45... What? Right, how? How does that happen? How does it go straight from... Yeah, cloudy, but, you know, sun. It's not complete cloud. Straight... Ooh, straight into rain. And similarly, the race starts dry. I could probably get away with starting on softs. Perhaps. I'll see. Also, the rain in qualifying is 45 minutes in, so I think Q3 is going to be wet. Oh, not ideal. Not ideal. Which does So, yeah, there, I don't think there's going to be sort of wiggle room. But, uh, yeah. Just get out as early as you can in Q3. That's, that's the only thing you can do. Uh, this has gone through. So is this. I bought that. And I'm going to try and buy that before the end of the weekend. I'm 500 points short. Hopefully I can get it from qualifying in the race. Should be able to, I think. Um, old engine. I mean, I've already sort of put it in, but it's not registering. New engine. It's just better. Championship. Two points behind Lewis Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy race in Silverstone. Messages. There you go. Forecast. I'm not happy. I don't like the rain. <sighs> Let's go. Unfortunately, I don't think I've got the pace to be able to do a lap on mediums to get into Q3. Welcome back to qualifying, where we're waiting for the lights to turn green in the pit lane to signify the start of the session here at the Hockenheim ring for this weekend's German Grand Prix. Oh, I don't know what to do, because... Looking at this field today, Anthony, do you think we're going to see anyone take a chance? My car's Maybe not run the hard good on softs. I can only stretch them so long as well. Tires for the race tomorrow. Well, I'd be surprised in all it's honesty. Tough. It's only the front runners that really have the pace to get away with that. And even then, at the end of the day, it's a big risk. Track position is the most important thing, and it's rarely worth sacrificing for a slightly more optimal strategy in the race. So I doubt we're going to see anyone trying it. I have been wrong before, though. We certainly do see some risky decisions every now and then, and it's a gamble that's sometimes worth taking. But if it were me in the car, I would want to be on the fastest tyre for my qualifying lap, without a doubt. So I think what the strategy is going to be is Q1, we try and get through on one lap and then yeah so we try and get through on one lap so car set up wait was that 5 kilograms of fuel that I was over by Wow. So, slightly wet race, so I have increased the ride height slightly by one on each. Similarly, I've opened up the transmission, tyres, I don't think I have done anything. I've also put the brake bar slightly further forward. And the changes I'm making. Power unit, right, so. It's scaring me a bit. Okay. Okay, just so it's in your but mind, think it if you have, have us make through. a setup change and you don't like the feel, don't hesitate to come back and undo it. You can save any setups that you like from the tablet, or you can always use what? one of the presets no, no, the no, team no, has no, built. No, 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 nope, nope, no, 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 nope, <clears throat> that's not happening. That's not happening. Okay. That, that, no. I don't, I don't, I really don't care if it's cheating. I actually do not care, okay? It's completely fair on the basis that... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, it's completely fair on the basis that... 
I'm not in that session. I'm I'm not in that session. Like as in I'm not in practice one or two. So they don't need to fit the gearbox to my current car. Right, skip this because I've seen it. It'll be it, it will be the exact same. Welcome to Germany for today's qualifying session at the famous Hockenheim Ring. The pit lane light. Right, come on. There we go. Okie dokie. Mini scare over. Don't forget the fuel. It's already saved it. That's interesting. Let's get out there. Fucking hell. So five, six wins will be important because, you know, wet race and all. Also, I think I'm going to try, for the race, I'm going to try and just stay on it. Yeah, I've got, I've got the engine, I've got, I've got the new engine components. It's all, it's all fun and dandy. Yeah. Don't oh no 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 Right so to combat this okay Right so it closes there it closes there What if why don't we just don't open it? No we fix the problem with DRS it should be back online So it, it claims to have a problem, right? Yeah, so there's there's still a problem with the iron I can't open it, which is a problem. Absolutely, but Has Hulkenberg actually has, right? Has Hulkenberg had a penal not a penalty, a podium? Has he had a podium in his career mode, or is he still waiting? I'm, I'm sure he will have done. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what Stroll has. That that was famously famously documented. So the gap to being out, so Valtteri Bottas will go faster, Ricardo will go faster, Perez will go faster. So I'm going to be in the drop zone. What? How? How's this happening? We're 20th in the speed trap, 196.8 miles. How how is he third? Oh my oh my god, what are you doing? I, th 
I think there was like some sort of miscommunication whereby he slowed down for me, right? Does he, does he want the slipstream? Does he want it that bad? Right, no, so... actually held up fairly well on balance. Yeah, my, my ERS has held up, oh my god. My ERS has held up fairly well. Two Bottas, you absolute spoon. Oh my god. Fuck. So I don't I don't think I'll be able to get through unless unless the difference between soft and mediums is less than four tenths. I don't think I'll be able to get through on mediums. So scrub set of oh weather. Could play a factor. I could just do the one lap and whatever it is I just have to accept. But I'm thinking I'll probably just like go out, I'll drive out and be really careful on the out lap and on the in lap. forecast in just over 10 minutes time rain in 10 minutes
time. Um, right, yeah. So time difference between different compounds of time. So there's usually sort of like a one, a one, a single step is about half a second. I think. And I, I'd assume they use sort of consecutive compounds, is what I call it. Of shit. Um, well, the difference between soft to medium is two steps, whereas medium to hard is one step. So I would also equally imagine that softs are going to degrade significantly, like relatively speaking, to the average significant significantly worse than fucking bastards. Uh, significantly worse than average. Yes. Six percent on the rears. Yeah, it's all right. I hope Lando doesn't want to come out because we're just blocking him at this stage. There goes Nico. Cheerio. Not driving in time. See it that much. I don't think it would have turned at the time. And yet I drove really so carefully far, in because of the is lap is a one around. minute twelve point zero. Something which I'd like to know, but I don't really have the balls to try. So Some rain away. soon. Expect the first drops in the so, next few minutes. Um, if I if I if I decided to restart this session, would it put me to the start of qualifying one or qualifying two? Oh no. Right, you know what? I'm not gonna go out. 
I can't, right, I'll tell you why. Because I can't. We're 15th in the speed if trap, I set a faster lap, then I'm going to start on a worse tyre. If I set a better lap, hopefully I can start on the completely fresh tyre, so... 11th would be probably better for me. So I'm just going to watch the timing screens. Lando's out, I hope Lando gets through. I'd be happy for him. I'm through by the skin of my teeth, presumably because it's already raining. And I do get to start on a not very warm tyre, relatively speaking. So that's fairly good. But now I'm going to be starting 10th for sure, because I'm awful in the rain. Okay, so it's already maxed out essentially. Yeah, excellent. I think I'll just go out. the rain will be easing off. You know, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? The smooth operator. I always find it simple to play the part of the to be able to get the right note. Really bad, you know. <laughs> Fucking Sebastian Vettel, mate. Yeah, I can't believe Bottas went out in Q1, man. That is it, that is insane. Absolutely certifiably crazy. What? My ERS is worse than the rain. Do me a favour. Whoops, slippery. No, it's not. Slower time. Forty two was was to Delta. Yeah, that that's probably as good as I can get to be honest. Really? 
Wait, oh no. Oh my god, oh my god. So far our fastest lap is a 123.0. So, okay, so that's more accurate. Oh my god. So, what? what's the time? What is the lap time? If I drive out with when two minutes to go, speed trap, I reckon I can do it. Miles per hour. But that, that is leaving it as late as it can possibly go. Sector 3 is 30 seconds, we can, yeah, so I, I want 30 seconds for Sector 3. Checks complete. Out. All personnel be aware, we have a car leaving. Everyone else is driving out, so, like now, so I'll have time. Um, they're on the slits as well. I also feel a bit of a bug that I um that I did I did waste a set of inters, but on the other hand I have two fresh sets so I'm set for the race. I am not the last one on the track. How interesting. Bro. I'm gonna have one lap to set the best lap I have ever been set. I am undoubtedly better in the dry. Undoubtedly. Got Lewis Hamilton behind me. Just thirty seconds left in the session. I'll do it again. I'm trying not to come up. Oh, Oh, 
I felt on the end, that felt like a good corner. Basically, everyone who, who crosses the line in the order of them crossing the line. Oh, We're very happy with that position. Well done. Well, okay. Happy days. I think. I think that's matched the target that they were. We're all ready to do for tomorrow's race, before but before we begin, race. let's have a quick look wow, at those who will be Hamilton. fronting the grid: Lucas Hamilton, Faber. Perez, what and Lucas Faber. With qualifying wrapped up, we now Charles have our grid line up for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to join so us then for what will no one. doubt be a fantastic Ridiculous. race. Oh no! Perhaps if I'd waited until the very, very end of the session, just like completely stopped on track and stuff then <clears throat> maybe but fourth on the grid isn't bad hopefully we can get a good start you know pass Faber he's at his home race and then sort of hopefully get on the back of Lewis Hamilton That's, that would be ideal and fingers crossed the rain comes before my softs dissolve Yeah, so I've definitely met the sort of general contract target, but the sort of medium difficulty target that I've got going, I think that was, I think it was fourth, qualify fourth or higher. Valtteri Bottas is such a pelican -y. He actually is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. Thanks, babe. So, it's two little segments. I might struggle. Oh, fuck. Right, I, I, I know I'm going into the, this race knowing that I have to be able to just make the soft tyres last. Honestly? Mm. Right, so the strategy in terms of how am I going to do this? You know, like the whole... Yeah. Right, I could conserve s tires, or I could just go for it. I, I could try and do like a bit of both, I guess. But it'll be difficult, because I'll be racing, and that'll be like the first thing in my mind, so... I'll just see how it goes, man. There's nowhere at all I'd rather be today than here at Hockenheim for the German Grand Prix. We have an incredibly competitive field this year, which means we should be in for a treat. And judging by the sea of people filling the grandstands, there's a fair-sized chunk of Germany that agrees with me. It's 2.8 miles around the Hockenheim ring then with an average lap speed in excess of 130 miles per hour. The long curved back straight leads into a tight hairpin for the best overtaking opportunity on the circuit. But there are plenty of other options available around the 17 corners here today. Uh, not really, to be honest. I mean, you do get a bit of a pep talk, I suppose. There's certainly somewhat of a raised sense of importance when it's the team's home race, but at the end of the day, we're all professionals. I mean, I want to win every race I compete in, and the teams want to win every race they compete in too. So the stakes are unbelievably high at this level. I mean, the effort is 100%, 24-7 all year round, whether it's your home Grand Prix or not. It's 
it's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position. Sergio Oi. Perez lines up alongside. Oi. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Weber, the engineer, Nico Hulkenberg, and Ricardo, Butler, Gasly, yeah, I've, I've Verstappen, and not, Sebastian Vettel, Albon, Norris, Lance Stroll, and Sainz, Magnussen, Grosjean, Valtteri Bottas, and George Russell, Kubica, and Charles Leclerc completes today's grid order. Charlie. And now it's time oh to head down God. to the track. Fuck. You're above where we expected on the grid. Be careful not to lose places, as there will be faster cars around you. So, granted, if it weren't for that's not going to be fun. That's going to be like really not fun. So that's as that's as far as it'll allow me. Wow. Technically, it is faster. Oh my god! Imagine if I could do that. Like, can you imagine? Wow. That's, I, oh my god, I, like, I've got to do it, I've got to be able to stretch it that far. Okay, go through oh, wow, all the gears if you can, can. we need to make sure the engagement is okay well, I, before I the start. Sort of We're going to want to put some temperature into I, the tyres and brakes, we need to keep the engine it. cool though, so don't go too high with the revs. Light rain will stay with us for at least 20 minutes, maybe more. Light rain is here to stay. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Oh. Wait. Oh! Oh my god, oh my god. Right strategy call. Absolutely. Oh my god. Oh my god.
this road here big enough for the three of us. Sergio Perez is going to end the race with the fastest lap. Nevertheless, we have something to say about it.
15 minutes till we expect the heavy rain to arrive. So on the sort of weather report, right, it did look like it was just one segment that was heavy rain and then it goes back to light rain. In which case, I'm going to try and stay on inters because it's a faster strategy. Heavy rain in around 15 minutes time. 15 minutes. Dry seem like the fastest tyre at the moment. Oh, I'm going to Batman, force wind dog technic. Okay, even though we're seeing cars struggle in these conditions, if we pit for inters now, we're going to be too slow and we'll burn them out. Make the best of it for the time being. keep these time on for as long as I can. Jeez, why is it, why is it so difficult? The track conditions aren't improving. It's your choice as to whether you want to fit the wets next time you Obviously I'm going to fit them next time I come in. What I possibly meant to say when they recorded that voice message is next time you come round, uh, next lap or something. Right, are those beads of water just sitting on the halo, something that wouldn't happen because we were going 200 miles an hour. Where's Lando in all this? Where's Valtteri? Definitely right, to come in at the end of this lap. lap. I don't I don't think I can do the full race on one set of inters. I 
know, you know when Jeff says, don't forget to pick this lap, and I'm like, oh, I won't Jeff, God. And then you do forget. Lando is in the pits. Lando in the pits. Exit. Exit now. <gasps> Wait. Oh, I've made the wrong. Right we'll be doing one more stop today. One stop left in our strategy. Far and far back in the came in. But I'm actually quite good. I'm myself. Stop lap of all bench strategy. Disabled by RS. Yeah, what happens if you're like already on the DRS train and you're like behind someone with your DRS open? What, what happens then? How did I get so much ERS? What? Is that seriously from all from the pit lane? What? Pit. I don't understand. I don't know what you mean. <coughs> this could be. Very Let's turn up the bad. ERS deployment and burn some of this energy. Right, that was just a really bad sector. How about we do it all again? Is there a hold up with Perez? Because look, there's there's a red bull out ahead of him. Whoa, crazy direction changes. Yeah, there's a red bull out still. That's just corner cutting. Um yeah, there's there's no need to worry, the helicopters are still still crazy from uh, you know. Right. That Red Bull, okay, what tyre are they on? Gasly's still on softs, so is everyone there, although it did say in pit, so I I have a feeling it doesn't like gap to teammate behind is 13.2 seconds. So they're out of pit lane. Now let's see. Anyone still on softs? No, literally just Gasly. He's making this rivalry too easy. He really, he really is. Too easy, man. The so ERS mode to overtake. We have to push. Gap to car in front is 2.0 seconds. But if he holds us up, I'm not going to be happy. Like, even slightly. Fuck you, Pierre. Like, actually, just Standard. That 
that is that is unbreathing, bro. It, it is unbreathing. Say what I call lock up. <laughs> Funny. Oh, sorry, bro. Bro, I didn't. Right, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. See the 
rain getting worse in around five minutes. Heavy rain on its way. Inters look like the best tyre for now. It's what they're calling these parts a hill. So it's elevated such that you can see over. You're in the top ten now. Keep it up. Also, I've been in the top 10 for the whole race, apart from when I made my stop, and even then I was pretty much still in the top 10, it was like 11 or 12. Yeah, Paris is, Paris is obviously going to end the race with Foster's lap on that third lane. 
So we are halfway through the race. What lap did I pit on? Ah, <gasps> he got a warning. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, I didn't realise I went so far. So I pitted at the start, at the end of lap seven. So at the end of this lap, it will mark 10 laps on this time, and we'll have a further 17 to do. So I'd, I'd better hope that the time went all right. So 27 total, 13, right. I need to work out whether I can do the race on this time or not. I'm thinking no. The car in front is 17.8 seconds. Fuck. I'm, I'm literally going to do it again purely for the ERS. So, now I'm going to go back and change it to this, see if it's hard to do this. Two laps until the pit window, you'll be on inters for the next stint. Gap to teammate behind is 5.6 oh. seconds. I have, I think. 
How far back can I go? I can do the old switcheroo, except I can't. This is around where we want to be when we hit. And I'm not going to be able to sustain doing such a long skip on one set. The gap to the car ahead is 1.6 seconds. So I'll wind up the OS.
three hour talk on the shift. Like 60 meters a second, I think. For one of them. I can't remember if it's wets or inters. But it's for one of them. Uh, that, that that is sort of massively influenced by the whole you know, the the speed that they're rotating at though, because it's essentially the volume of all the little bumps and lumps and stuff multiplied by how many revolutions it does in a second. And obviously there are a lot more revolutions in an F1 car compared to a VW up. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. We should see a transition to light rain in around 10 minutes time. Inters and wets will probably have similar pace at the moment. Imagine if everyone goes on to wets and it's faster. By a long, long way. Can, can you imagine? So, 
the way the game's broken. It's not a perfect over. situation, but I don't think we have cause to move on to a different tyre yet. So, perhaps we're on the wrong tyre, but it's going to go to light rate somewhat soon, I hope. I mean, it, it was only one segment on, um, on the weather forecast. It was we're expecting the rain to get better in rain. around five minutes. Light rain in five minutes' time. Inters and wets will probably have similar pace at the moment. Is literally everyone on wets? Yep. Apart from Magnuson and Sainz, who are pretty far down. Oh, he's in the pit. Sainz is probably coming in imminently. Why? Why would it? Why? Why? I'm, I'm thinking long term with my strategy. Look, we've got we've got 11 laps left. But it, wow, we're still doing all oh, we're, we're doing all the right laps. Yes. Even the it's not like a slow lap. I'd say I'd say a slow lap in F1 is anything from the 30. Okay, gap ahead is 4.2 seconds. Especially driving machines. Singapore, wow. What a long lap. set of full wets on. We've seen a few people change over. Alkenberg is ahead of you. Gap to car in front is 4.0 seconds. They're on fresh wets. Their tyres are two laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 26.1. <coughs> Ricardo is behind you. Okay, the gap behind is 1.3 seconds. They're on fresh wets. Their tyres are one lap old. The time last lap was a 140.1. Heavy rain will pass in about five minutes. We'll then be working with light rain conditions. It's hard to say if inters or wets are better right now. What is it with having rain affected race weekends now? Like rain rain actually doesn't happen. Especially not in the south of France in the summer. Seconds separate you. They're on fresh wets. Their tyres are two laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 26.1.
light rain about two minutes away. We're leading our teammate by 5.8 seconds. Did I say precise? Just precise. I think people say precise, but it's just precise. That's all the word is. similar pace at the moment. Ten 
minutes left of this rain, then we think it's going to dry up. Ten minutes, inters look like the best tyre for now. Holkenberg ahead, our gap to the car in front is 6.8 seconds. They're on old wets, their tyres are seven laps old. The time last lap was a 1.25.8. You're gaining by three tenths a lap, good work. I need to close the car like two seconds of that though. That's what I need to do. Hulkenberg is ahead of you. Okay. Gap ahead is 6.1 seconds. They're on old wets. Their tyres are 8 it's laps old. Right? The time last lap was a 1 minute 26.0. You're gaining by a full second per lap. Good job. Hulkenberg ahead. Delta. Gap to car in front is 5.3 <coughs> seconds. They're on old wets. Their tyres are 8 laps old. The time last lap was a 1.26.0. You're gaining by a full second per lap. Good job. Look at the strategy, man. I was, I was struggling a bit, but now... Coming into my own. You're doing well out there, and keep it up. We're looking at about ten more minutes of rain. Ten minutes, minutes into see so the fastest tire for now. To the people on full wet, I'm gonna be getting faster and faster. I, I genuinely think that Hamilton and even Perez have a full pit stop on me. However, there's three laps of fuel remaining. ahead of you. The gap to the car ahead is 4.6 seconds. They're on old wets. Their tyres are nine laps old. The time last lap was a 1 minute 25.9. You're closing in by around 1.4 seconds a lap. That's what I need. So, oh my god, I, I want to whack up the engine mode and, and, and the ERS. I'm just close it on it by so much, but. That's up to 3.9. Got third here last year with a pass on Lewis Hamilton in the final lap.
This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Chasing a podium. I couldn't quite pull it off. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. <laughs> Anthony oh, Davis it was insane at the end, to be fair. deliver this result. I'm, I'm happy with that. It's a heroic effort for any I'm driver's racing with my conditions like well. these. I'm happy with my strategy the front was I was very just so indeed. good. They were able to find all the grip, all the good lines, and had the confidence to get on the power to top it all off. Oh, That's what pushed them into on. first place so here today. See, just and see, I can see the know, drivers starting to approach the, the podium for the further, victory celebration. A real team victory touch, today. Hamilton. Everybody played their part. I'm just Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. <laughs> it's not much to ask for. <laughs> oh, fair play. No sounds enough from start to finish. Sophia Perez did bits as well. He nearly caught Nico Hulkenberg towards the end. If I hadn't let him go so easily, then I mean, I did. I did really make it easy for him, like, I definitely didn't, but I reckon if I, if he'd stayed behind me for like a couple of laps more, I'd And now have let's take him. a look at the driver's standings. Oh. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, Ant, who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? That's got to be the flying fin. Bottas. Wait, how many flying fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just the two. Just great raw speed, and a good job in traffic as well. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend yeah, their lead. Rocking. Meanwhile, uh, oh, Renault wait, move yeah. up the table what? with another strong performance. Why did this he weekend. say that? Rocking Unequal parts exhausted anymore. and what elated with this weekend of Formula One. <laughs> Be sure to join us <laughs> for the next one. Oh. 15.1 Lewis, 24 ahead of Valtteri. Pretty good. 65 ahead of Lando. Ba, 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 ba. I I have a feeling there are going to be some big driver transfers next year. There are. Because when I move to Ferrari, that's going to trigger all sorts of things. I'd say there is some consolation that Hamilton didn't get fastest lap. Sergio Perez did. Doing pretty well. Yeah, can we can we have something going on please? So 
so guaranteed win of the rivalry next race. Oh, what? What? Why? What? I don't get it. Excellent result today. Finishes like that will look good on your contract reviews. On to the next one. Right, I've genuinely stopped caring at this stage. Unfortunately. Yeah, so I've completed that. I'll get the 500 next race and the 250. Oh, yeah. In, so, because we're going to Hungary, downforce, yeah. Oh, so we're going to have... Let's do some vague maths. So we've got 79 plus 500 plus 250 from the medium difficulty team goal and beating Lando in the rivalry, which are going to happen. And we're going to have three... three five? Plus about 500. Maybe, maybe it'll be like a bit more. So I reckon, I reckon we can get drag and a major upgrade. We could be really cheeky and go for engine power because Renault are ahead of us. We're going to go for engine power. Also, I'm, I reckon I'll go for that one because ERS. So I'm going to go for that one. So, yeah, oh my god. So, power plus drag reduction. When we go to Belgium, when we go to Monza, we are going to be insane. It's going to be very marginal whether we can get both of them. I'll, I'll prioritise engine power, to be fair, because, oh, shit. That's only going to come in for Monza, and the drag will come in for Belgium. Okay. Hmm. I mean, yeah, I'll still do it, but you know, um, throw the old engine in. So I think. Once we get to Belgium, I'll start using the second ICE for practice. So, that is 68% after 11 races. Looking at 129%. Oh, yeah, we are just right. If I manage the MGUK and. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, so if I manage sort of MGUK, Energy Store Control Electronics, I will be able to make them last for the season. I'm also asking for a second gearbox because I've done 11 races. Well, I've done 11 weekends on this practice gearbox. I don't think there's much to say, is there? Quick scan of that. Fair play, Sergio Perez. Third podium of the season. Doing pretty well. Oh, 
think that's the end. I think it's the end, guys. So we move on to Hungary in the next episode, in the next stream, where I hope to see all of you again. It's been an alright result. It was fun at the end when we were chasing Hulkenberg. See you in the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Cheerio.